getting safe drinking water to the Urkia family. Let's travel to Honduras, Central America. In the southwest corner of the country is the Department of La Paz. It's one of the 18 political departments of the country. Living in Granadillo, La Paz, is farmer and beekeeper Oswaldo Urquilla. What does it take for him and his family to enjoy a safe, reliable water service? It starts with engineers who had to design the water supply, oversee its construction to ensure there is a steady flow of safe water that complies with national standards. A construction team from the community gets to work, digging pipes and constructing the physical water supply. Once the pipes are laid and all the pieces come together, an operator is responsible for opening the valves and checking for leakages, ensuring it all runs smoothly. Behind the scenes, someone operates the water treatment plant to keep the water safe and free from fecal matter or other contaminants. A technician from the municipality oversees that work, monitoring the quality of that water supply. A bookkeeper in turn keeps track of the costs, the income and expenditures, including what Oswaldo and his family pay in their water bill. Beyond the water treatment plant is the voice of a community. A general assembly of community members who vote on things like tariff setting, major works, and members of the water committee. Water committees make decisions on the management of the water supply for their communities. More broadly, all water committees come together in an association to discuss common challenges and needs for the municipality as a whole. The mayor of the municipality determines what investments are made for new water supplies, water network expansions, but also how to best support the water committees. Higher up, civil servants from the National Water and Sanitation Council and members from independent regulators develop the policies and regulations within which the system operates. They also define the way in which municipalities receive funds for investment in water. Together, everyone forms the water system. This includes users, service providers, service authorities, and national level actors. These elements together form the system behind the provision of drinking water in Honduras. No simple task, but it's all worth it for Oswaldo Okia and his family to experience the joys of a glass of fresh, safe drinking water. <laughs>